Hello, this is Dr. Ferris, Erasic. And I'd like to make some comment on this surgical procedures for one of my healing. And we have more tissue. And we're gonna use two noble active implants. We started here by just preparing the surgical site. And we're doing some scaling on the adjacent teeth. I wanna make sure the we don't have any biofilm or tartar or plaque next to the surgical site. And here's just normal scaling. This is very important step to prepare the patient for the surgery and the mod for the surgery so we're removing any plaque any accumulation anything might affect our surgical outcome it was the date when we did the extraction Just here using chlorhexidine mouthwash. We rinse it. We rinse in the surgical site. Dimensional position of the implant. You can see here I'm stop the drilling and I'm pulling back once in a while. And uh, we're going again here. Yeah? And measuring and checking again and again. I'm using the same osteotomy burr preparation to with the floss to and we're gonna go ahead and take x-ray here's a presentation of the PRF membrane and this is the fibrin we hold that for you okay and we're gonna we also here, demonstrate that's the how is so we're gonna pick up the fibrin Eon, we can do that if you want to. Right close to the camera. Go on the tube first. Come put the tube on the top of me. And we're gonna demonstrate that how we how we're gonna harvest the fibrin from. And I will share with you the pictures with the position of the implant. And you can see that we all embrace the palatal wall. We left. Okay, here we go.
and I'll show you a pictures of the position right now. And here we are placing a hidden abutment. And this is picture showing the membrane position on the facial. We're gonna clean the internal part of the implant before we position the healing abutment. And here I'm utilizing my two hand. And once that dropped, it's very easy to secure. Here is the second healing abutment in place and I'm going to be talking it now. Mm -hmm. We can respect the surface of the implant. we get that bone all the way down on the facial surface you see trying to take pictures trying to open the mm -hmm. flap and we're gonna keep that membrane to protect that facial flap and so we can channels and condense the bone or not to condense just to position the bone epically on that facial part of the socket mm -hmm. and close that mm -hmm. jumping distance mm -hmm. on the heel <laughs> socket. I'm going to continue placing a good amount of bone to fill all the gap. If you have any question about this video, don't hesitate to give us a call or email us at icondentalsmile at gmail.com to dry the surface and keep the bone contained. Now I'm just gonna gently look for that membrane and we're just gonna pull it. down a little bit and to cover the top of the implant there we go you can see the membrane now so now I'm ensuring that that membrane is flat flat and positioned correct on the that facial Tunnel flap, so we're protecting the bone on the facial, and also we're gonna protect it on the on the top of the implant. So you're gently kind of repositioning the bone. Some of these particles move as I pull the membrane, and I'm gonna keep that currentized tissue facially to the implant. Here I'm using the second part of. And I'm gonna use this membrane. I'm gonna fold it and gonna position it. And this is advanced PRF membrane. So we're gonna use double layers of PRF membrane, and also then we're gonna cover it with the non-resorbable wall. Uh, membrane, this special membrane that can stay exposed 
to the oral environment. So we don't, and I'm not gonna be pulling again this tissue. I'm not gonna score the priostum or anything like this. Actually, I'm more like epically positioning the flap instead of coronally positioning the flap in this technique. And just placing here the final suture. And this is a picture showing the double membrane. And then double protection. And this is a picture of a healing after one week. This is a picture of the screenshot of the x-ray we took the same day of surgery. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a call. If you have any question, email us. Thank you very much again.